Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Vote GUI. So, as the name would suggest, if you type forward slash vote, a GUI will pop up and it has all the links to your voting site. So, you can add more if you want to and change the block type as well as the uh, name of the GUI, which is cool. And obviously, if you click them, they will um, give you the link to the website and then you can go vote. It has a couple of cool features though. You can obviously set the block that uh, is appearing here, which is an emerald block. However, if you vote for the site, you can set a different block, such as a redstone block. And it will also say how long till you can vote again, which is a really cool feature. So I will pop up a couple of screenshots showing this. Um, you do need to add something to your listener to be able to make this work. I'll show you that in a second. So that's everything in-game. We're going to go into the config file of my listener as well as this plugin to show you how to set it up. So here we are in the plugins folder and as you can see we have uh, three plugins that you obviously need. Vote GUI, Votifier and a listener plugin. I would recommend GA listener, it is the best. Um, you can customize it so much. So what we need to do, uh, first of all, is set up GA listener. There is only one thing you need to do. So scroll down to the services part and you need to add this line uh, right here for slash voted username service so this will allow um, the other plugin vote gui to record when a uh, player actually voted and turn the emerald block from uh, obviously green to a red redstone block so if we go into vote gui here you can see there is a lot that you can change so first of all you can change the gui name um, you could obviously change the color as well that's a cool feature and then you can change lots of things about the voting site. So we are going to create a brand new one called um, Vote XL. That's going to be the name of the website. It's, I made that up, it's just random. Um, we're going to change the name of the service as well. The cooldown is going to be 12 hours instead. Um, that's obviously in hours. Most websites are have a cooldown for one day, 24 hours, but some might be more or less. And then um, we can actually change the block. So if you didn't want an emerald block, you could have uh, maybe, oh, I don't know, diamond block instead. Make sure you type it correctly. And then um, the cannot vote could be obsidian, like that, or whatever you chose. And then here we need to have a website link. So I'm just going to do YouTube like that. Actually, it'd be .co.uk. Um, and that is how you customize it. So you could add as many of these as you want. You could add up to nine, I believe. And once you've done that, your players can um, click them, vote for all of them, and hopefully get your server a bit more popular. And yeah, that is how you do that. Obviously with GA Listener, there is so much you can do uh, with rewards and whatnot. I believe I have covered this before, or at least I wanted to. If I haven't, I will, but if I have, I'll leave a link to that, as well as uh, Vote GUI, so you can download it for free, as well as GA Listener, free as well, and Votify is free, so uh, that's all good. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.